everybody, I'm here today to read you a story and I'm going to read you Broom on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat. Here's my witch. And long ginger hair that she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. Got the cat. Oh, there they go. They're going to go together. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on a thundering pause, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? <gasps> yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. This puttock might find this a bit tricky. Oh. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy winds blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the bow but no bow could be found then out from a tree with an ear splitting shriek there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak she dropped it politely and bent her head low then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow I am a bird as green as can be is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick. Oh, here we are. And whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, leapt a dripping wet frog. With a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch tried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and more. And I need two hands for this now. And oh, here we all go. <gasps> Whoosh! They were gone. Over the moors and their mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. And the broom snapped in two. Ah! Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down went the thumb, well, they went thumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Where's my witch gone? Here she is. I am a dragon. Oh, as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, 
Maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. <gasps> but just as he planned to begin on his feast, out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl with a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. <gasps> the dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings <gasps> and was off, flew the sky. Then down flew the bird. Here he comes. And down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat. And phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, 